Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and let's not beat around the bush. Holidays, March 29th through April 4th, let's go. Sunday, March 29th is Vietnam Veterans Day. I know, this one actually feels like a legitimate holiday, I'm surprised too. On this day, take a moment at some point to just acknowledge all of the Vietnam veterans. Of course, not everyone made it back from Vietnam, but for those who did, give them some love and respect. Lord knows they didn't get any of it when they first came back here. Monday, March 30th, is Pencil Day. Seems a bit boring at first, I know, but I use a lot of pencils. When I'm not doing digital thumbnails, I actually do most of my hand drawing with pencils. Colored pencils as well for coloring. I prefer pencils over pens because if you make a mistake, you can erase it and do it again. Pens are kind of permanent, and erasable pens, they get smudged very easily. So, I fully approve of this day. Take some time to appreciate the pencil. It may be number two on the shelf, but it's number one in our hearts. Someone was gonna say it. May as well have been me. Tuesday, March 31st is National Crayola Crayon Day. Yet again, an artistic implement that has impacted pretty much everybody's lives. Everyone at some point has used a Crayola crayon. It's kind of a requirement if you're a kid. Some people never stop using them. You can make great art with crayons, it can be done. So whether you're feeling nostalgic or you're currently using these artistic implements, this is a day to really acknowledge the impact they've had on our lives. Wednesday, April 1st is April Fool's Day, as we all know, but it is also, and this is not a joke, Sweet Potato Day. A day to have sweet potatoes in some form. Mashed sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries, candied sweet potatoes, any other way you can think to prepare them. I'm sure there are others, but I don't generally eat sweet potatoes, so come up with something. I'm sure you can. Thursday, April 2nd, is Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Yes, I know we already had a holiday about peanut butter, but this is a holiday about peanut butter and jelly. Totally different. So, um... Celebrate it the same way you celebrated the peanut butter day, I guess, because there are only so many things you can do with peanut butter. So yeah, that was an anticlimax. Moving on. Friday, April 3rd, is Find a Rainbow Day. Doesn't matter in what capacity, somehow you've got to find a rainbow on this day. Maybe the weather conditions will be just right for you to find one naturally occurring outside, or maybe you can set up a prism somewhere and project one onto the wall. Maybe you can just look at the cover for Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon and say that counts. Whatever the case, find a rainbow somehow. Rainbows are nice. Rainbows give us hope. And Saturday, April 4th is International Carrot Day. A day devoted to one of the few vegetables which you actually eat the root of rather than the actual vegetable part of. They are good for your hair, good for your eyes, and good for your fingernails, and Bugs Bunny approves of them so they can't be that bad. Just don't eat too many because they will turn you orange. And there you have it, the holidays that take us from March into April. Some are admittedly a bit more somber than others, but all of them I think are worth acknowledging in some way this week. Well, most of them. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it as well as subscribe to the channel for more content of a similar nature. Also, check the description for links to our Twitter, DeviantArt, and Patreon pages, as well as the Amazon link for the novel Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, penned by yours truly. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.